Legacy Big Red Soundbite Deck Tech. If you've never seen this deck before, you're in for a real treat. So this is a combination all-in combo deck slash prison deck. You are a prison deck in the form of Chalice of the Void and Blood Moon. Players can't play one mana spells, which is a lot of them in Legacy. And Blood Moon says they can't have non-basic lands, which is a lot of them in Legacy. And then the combo aspect of the deck is Sneak Attack and Through the Breach to put fatties such as Grizzlebees, Emrakul, My Aeon's Tor, and my favorite, the wiggliest of all the worms into play. People often ask about the Emrakul World Spine Worm split. The reason for this split is if you turn one on the play a World Spine Worm, or even turn one on the draw, um, an Emrakul, it's not, it doesn't like killing their one land and dealing 15 to them doesn't win the game. However, turn one on the play or draw World Spine Worm deals 15 and then leaves 15 power, so generally it kills them turn one. Um, other fatties you see here is we have Godo Bandit Warlord, three copies of him. And this is basically like a good Stoneforge Mystic. So when Godo comes into play, you search your library for any equipment and put it right into play under your control. So Godo gets these, these wonderful batter skulls over here and puts them into play for us. And uh, Godo also has a bunch of other text that says him and other samurais attack twice, but like that's not nearly as relevant as getting the batteriest of skulls. Um, the thing that's sweet about this deck is that things like this Godo and this Batter Skull, thanks to Lotus Petals and Simian Spirit Guys, and of course everyone's favorite Seething Song, and Ancient Tombs and City of Traders and our one Crystal Vein here, you can play these cards just on like turn two and turn three. And like, you know, if you've ever seen some of the fair decks in Legacy try and beat Godos and Batter Skulls, you know they're going to get beat down by them a lot of the time. Uh, someone asked about, we had an Ebrus the Binding Blade in here the other day. It was worse than Batter Skull, and we drew it a couple of times and would have won a game if it had been Batter Skull, so I think we should just be on on the three batter skull plan. Uh, in the sideboard, we've got some sweet tools. We've got Trinispheres for more lock pieces and things against, like, uh, combo, uh, storm, storm combo, stuff like that, high tide. Pyromancy, this card's sweet against miracles. It discards a card at random from her hand and then deals damage equal to its converted mana cost to a player. So, like, this in combination with our 8 and 15 and 11 and 6 drops does a lot of damage. Uh, we've, we, I actually, there are some videos of me splashing white for an in this deck, and it wasn't worthwhile. These mountains are a thing of beauty here. Even even the artworks are mostly different on them too, which is great. And we've got some 7th edition and some 9th and some 8th. Just like, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. We, we intentionally mismatch these mountains. It's a feature. So the, the guy, Andrew Heiser, is a guy that I work on with this deck, and he lends me his copy of it to play in events. It's actually, like, almost 100% foil. It's very beautiful. Uh, Sin Prodder's not very good, so we cut it. Um, is the, the, TL, the TLDR. It, it, Sin, I've often said that Sin Prodder was only in the board because Pyromancy was bugged on Magic Online for a while, but they've since fixed it, which is nice. Uh, what does this hand do? This hand... And, and again... Like, this is, the, like, what I'm talking about here. This hand can turn one, sneak attack, and Emrakul. But if this was a World Spine Worm, that would be much better, because our opponent's just not... I mean, I'm keeping this hand. It's good, but it's not... It's not great. Um... There's actually a big red deck that won one of the weeklies. I tweeted about it. Uh, Varanus was streaming with it. It seemed really good. Decent modern. No, all in red is very bad in modern because all the fast mana is banned in modern. I think we just moon first. Because, like, moon turn one moon on the play is probably just good, too. And, like, if he forces the moon, we can turn two. Uh, Song Breach the Emrakul. Turn 1 Emrakul is definitely worse than Turn 1 Moon, I think. On, on average against the field. If this was a worm, I'd snap Turn 1 Worm. But... Death and Taxes? Okay. Mana Source. Alright. See, turn two Emrakul, cool, much better when we get to when we get to take away some of his stuff. But again, he'd just be dead here if we would have had 
we would have had World Spine Worm. Make our opponent regret his life decisions of registering death and taxes. And we could we could still lose this game. Is sneak attack just concedes? Does it doesn't even want to play magic anymore? <laughs> yeah, magic's fun. Magic's fun. Turn one, turn one, Blood Moon. Turn two, Emrakul. You. All right. What are we doing here? Be inside boarding. Sure. Uh, Clasm's fine. Shattering Spree's fine. Sudden Shock is fine. Uh, what do I not like in this matchup? Am I supposed to leave in Blood Moon in this matchup? I feel like Blood Moon's not good enough in this matchup. I think I'd rather have Chalice on one to prevent Swords to Plowshares. I guess Blood Moon turning off Wasteland and Port is, is okay. I think I'm going to try cutting these. I, 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 there's a little bit of delay, but post in chat if you think. I think this is the cut. If you have thoughts or opinions on this matchup. Caracas. Okay. Stops Caracas and Ports. Chalice is a solid medium is the problem, especially in the drop. Maybe... Maybe I just coward split it. You just do this. Although extra mana is pretty good in this matchup, but I guess he's on Thalia too, and Seething Song's worse against Thalia. I, I'm gonna split it. I'm gonna cut two songs and two chalices. I think you guys are right. I don't. I don't know if Moon's terrible, especially if I'm bringing in at least one Shattering Spree. The gold. Yep, it's a feature. Hashtag. It's a feature. What does this hand do? This is nothing, so we'll mulligan. This hand plays a turn one sneak attack or turn one blood moon. I think I'll keep this in the draw. We're going to bottom a non land. Why are you putting sneak attack into play here? The problem is putting sneak attack into play sucks if he has revoker, but not putting it into play sucks if he has Thalia. There's a higher upside to just putting having it in play though. So yeah, I'm just gonna put sneak attack into play, especially against turn one basic planes. Hey, Mr. Silicon. Fortunately, we don't have a fatty. He's just going to go land revoker, but... I wonder if Moto lets you glitter a wish for Pyroclasm, right? I mean, getting Wasteland the next turn is fine. Yeah, as a revoker, sure. Like I said, it's a damned if we do, damned if we don't type situation. Just one card off. <sighs> That's fine. We get to play game three on the play. I'm going to cut the Blood Moons on the play and bring in the songs and all the chalices. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bring in all the Shattering Sprees because hitting Revoker is good too, in addition to Vile and other stuff. Dip dip. Ah! Oh, he had he had Thalia too, so we were just screwed either way. He's got to kill us here. We're not we're not in a good spot. We're probably a strong favorite to lose this game. Just one one card off having the fatty. Rats.
I'm actually gonna leave all the songs in on the play, because, like, turn one song is pretty good. Like, if we turn one Goto, he probably can't win. Play. This is just a turn one Goto we talked. No, this is not turn one Goto, is it? Let's turn two Goto. He has turn two Goto still fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. Needed a soul land to turn one Goto. That's fine. God bless America. There's one pithing needle from the board. I guess I can just breach it. Am I supposed to breach it here? Probably. That was a good draw. It's also, there's also a possibility that I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to um, play Chalice for one there and just like hope to draw a land to hard cast the Goto. He could have, he could have, there's, he has a lot of cards in his hand, his deck that just like beat this Batter Skull, like including Swords of Plushers. Like we're not in a good spot. If this was a uh, Wiggly Worm, we'd be, we'd be in a good spot. Obviously. I, I don't give Tuck, um, ping me, ping me after the stream's done. Ping me on Twitter or send me a DM and I'll, I'll look it up for you later. So attack for six, get a batter skull. Still, still okay. Again, could just like plow our guy. <laughs> Watch him have plow too. We just like have this chalice, just have this chalice rotting in our hands. Um. Oh, right on time. I'm actually just gonna put this into play in case we draw shattering spree. Just have it out there. So I. Hmm. I probably could have. Yeah, I think I think I was supposed to have just played this on two. I think this was better. Because if he plays, if we play Chalice for one on turn two, and he plays Athalia, we're just like still up a creek without a paddle. Yep. I don't think so. I don't. I honestly don't remember. Uh, the deck's not linked in there, guy. That's, uh, that's got a burn deck and something else in there. You know what? I could have Seething Song plus Return this and played it for one. That was probably a better line. I had this in my head that I couldn't do two things, but this is definitely an artifact, so I could have done that. Although I guess I have Seething Song for Batter Skull now, which is nice. Um, another half hour or so. Yeah, Chattering Spear would be such a good draw. And to kill both of these.
What do you have for three? Vrindwing mirror, maybe? You know, flicker with my chalice, sure. Well, chalice was previously on one, which meant that, uh... Which meant that I had to double, double target something. Now we can have another plow, which is unfortunate, but eh. It gains us four at least, and we can bounce this the following turn, and then we're one land away from replaying it with Spirit Guide. Our champions, yeah. Yeah, the champions are one of the biggest differences in Hex. It took me a while. I definitely, like, just kept missing my champion power for a while. If he has another Flicker Wish, we could begin trouble. If he doesn't kill the germ this turn, we're actually in a good spot. Yeah, sweet. So this means he can't kill the germ, I assume. Which means the battle scope might might just get to race him. Unless he has like something weird like Mirian Crusader. And we can bounce and replay Batter Skull now thanks to the Simeon Spirit Guide. I'm not gonna play the Spirit Guide because it's our fifth mana to replay the Batter Skull in case he deals with Why don't you play Mirian Crusader? That shouldn't be in your deck. He has another Flicker Wisp. Why? I don't... I don't understand. Why Why wouldn't you do that last turn and get in two extra points of damage? It's... Okay. Whatever. To each his own, I guess. And again, this whole game would be different if I would have just chaliced for one and two. He ended up not having the Thalia, so like, the line I took played around Thalia instead of playing around Swords to Plowshares, and he had Swords to Plowshares instead of Thalia. And there, there are two four ofs in his deck, so like, I don't think it's strictly right to play around one or the other. I guess the upside of playing around the Swords to Plowshares meant that, um, we, he wouldn't have gotten to play this Aether Vial a lot, which would have constrained his mana a lot this game. So like, the fact that the Chalice for one locks out the Aether Vial makes it a better line. So we're taking 8 here and going to 7. And, I mean, we're not dead on board. I don't write on card hoarder. I think you mean MTG card market. Mother of Runes. Yep, GG's. Little unfortunate game two, took a bad line this game, played around the wrong thing. Why is there a draw card button if it doesn't work magic online? Why is there a draw card button? Nobody knows! Nobody knows! Hashtag it's a feature! It's a feature. You don't want to run off your top cards. You don't want to know what they were going to be. They'll just make you do think your variants. No, this is a Magic Online feature as well. This is not supposed to be gold border. It's supposed to be red. We posted a screenshot earlier of a red they were Lightning Bolt with Switch 2. Apparently it's a bug with full art cards. Belcher and Pig Red, yep. Tier, tier 1 of Legacy, one could argue.
Is Glitter English such a good power card? Now nobody knows. Nobody knows. I mean, it should, right? It's multicolored. Oh no, no, wait, no, wait, come back. Oh, did I get it? Oh, right, good, I got it. Turn one, Grizzle Brand, keep. God, we're winning. We're winning die rolls tonight, too. Look at that. Resolves. Draw some cards. Oh, they fixed that too. Good. Draw some cards. Attack. Now the real question here is do I draw more cards? And I feel like when in doubt the answer is always draw more cards. Maybe our hand's good enough. What's our what's our ideal seven here? Uh, probably keep this, 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 and we're cool. Mountain ancient tomb. I don't need chalice. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could draw more cards and play Jealous on one. That's you. You're not wrong. Yeah, sure. Sure. Why not? Draw some more cards. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, drawing more cards. Drawing more cards is always the answer. Let's be honest with ourselves. Make sure we didn't miss anything here. Yeah. Any other grizzle brand over here? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Apologies. That was probably really loud. I'm really sorry. I did not. That was very sudden. I didn't catch myself. R.A.P. everyone's ears. Send a message, discard the full arm out, and keep the white bordered one. Peace cruising in. All right, I'm. I wouldn't have done that. Now we know he's playing lands. I wouldn't have sideboarded, but now we get to sideboard. We get to bring in two Magus of the Moon. Uh, what am I cutting this matchup? This matchup's pretty good for us. I was turn one yet? Okay, scale one to not bad. Definitely close to the not not bad end of the scale. Let's trim like a batter skull and a seething song. It's probably fine. Let's do this. Pyromancy is working properly now. It worked. We played it in a league and it worked, so. And it's two cards off from being the nut. 
That's my opinion on Commander. Uh, I play Magic competitively, and Commander is not a competitive format, so I just don't have any reason to really play it or spend time on it. Bring in Trinister. That's really wrong. Chalice is very good in this matchup. It stops crop rotation. Um, you put Chalice on two at some point. Stop life from the loam. Stops gamble. You put on zero sometimes. Stop Mox Diamond. Uh, previously, Pyromancy was bugged, so it um, chose the player at random who discarded the card. Top. All right, good die. Kill me. Chose not to activate it. Okay. <laughs> right. So next turn we go um, seething song. Seething song. Uh, oh, that's a sphere of resistance. That's unfortunate. Well, now we're dead. That's really unfortunate. I think I just have to pass here. I didn't want to get wastelanded. Their sphere, yep. <laughs> Seething song, now very bad. I didn't chalice on one because I didn't want to get wastelanded, like we just did. Let's play this. Play Lotus Petal. Mana source, not seething song. Land. 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 Alrighty. Nope, I'm just going to pass. So, I want to get this Magus into play ideally. Start beating him down. Taking the old brown town beat down. Mox Diamond, sure. I didn't want to slide out Chalice on zero because we have more Lotus Petals that were live draws. But maybe I should have done it just because, like, we had the Blood Moon in our hand and we only needed one more. It's very possible. So we're two off of that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to discard a Chalice. I should have discarded a Song, I guess. That's all the same. Although, I guess if I draw, and no, I didn't board in Shattering Spree. <laughs> Goto time. It's unfortunate these, these make all spells cost more. It's much better than Thorn of Amethyst against us. If it was a Thorn, we would have just played Magus already. The fourth sphere of resistance, third sphere of resistance. Yep. Must have a K grip in his hand, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. I'm gonna discard the seething song. So if we hit an ancient tomb, uh, it's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Now we're starting to draw dead. The Aldrazi matchup's very good. There's a world where he keeps breaking off and we run off Spirit Guides or Mountains, so.
So if we hit Ancient Tomb... So if we draw Ancient Tomb, we can actually cast Blood Moon, right? Because it'll be 2, 3, 4, 5... 2, 3, 4... 2, 3, 4... No, we're short. So we need Mountain into Ancient Tomb. a nice solid line here of stuff from our opponent. It's just good, good design here. We're a statistical, we're not a statistical favorite to win this game, but We also just haven't drawn it in situations where we need to cast it. Yeah, I'm just going to concede he's got three ports now. I don't think I want Shattering Spree. Normally the spheres don't matter that much. We couldn't have breached, right? We had three, four, five, six. Breach cost eight. There were we only had six mana. We had two spirit guides. There were three spheres in play. Turn one blood moon, keep. Chalice for zero, turn one blood moon. Yep. Good luck. Thanks, TK. Welcome to the stream. So this shuts off Mox Diamond. This shuts off most of his land. Watch me just play basic forest on one. Sweet. Shiggity shwooty. All right. Just need a fatty boom boom. Fatty, fatty, fatty boom boom. Fatty, fatty, fatty boom boom. Oh, look, it's a tap mountain. That's your nice opponent. Got tap mountain. Look at my beautiful mountains. My beautiful mountains are way more beautiful than these things. They don't even got, they got like grayed out tech boxes and stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. Seismic Assault? That's triple red. Sphere? Alright, sure, sure. Fatty boom boom. Fatty, fatty, fatty boom boom. Huh. Did I play Chalice on two? I could song up to five men and then chalice for two. That doesn't seem awful, right? It cuts them off of other sphere of resistances. It means I have to draw a fatty plus more mana sources. I kind of like chalice on two. Oh, block gamble. Yeah, I like Chalice on one for Gamble. Good call. So we need one more land to do this. Because this gets us to five, but this costs six. That works, right? This takes us to five, this takes us to six. Through the breach, these each make one. Right, 
Rawr, magic's fun. Rawr. This is how we outplay our opponents, outplay the opponents, outplay the opponents. Bum, 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 bum. Just waiting on my boom boom. Waiting on my boom boom. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Hopefully that'll do. The old backup blood moons for days. Got moon moons on moons on moons, dogs. Yo, Derg. Got him. So, do I join, right? Do you join the queue? If you join the queue, you're probably going to get big red. Big redded. The tiger text wasn't grayed out. I know. It's, it's so busted. This is magic the way Richard Garfield intended it to be played in all of its world spine wormy glory. Just wiggle, wiggle on over, Mr. Weld Spawnworm. Just wiggle on over across the table. Give him a little love tap for for 15. The old 15 point love tap. This is going to be our last match of the evening. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, usually about 1 p.m. at the latest, probably noonish, really. Depends on when the kids go down for their nap. Uh, Blessed Alliance seems playable. That's one that target player sacrifices an attacking creature, right? Like, anything that's a removal spell plus is probably playable. That's not completely overcasted. Is it worth it having for a turn? I think so. Batter Skulls and Godos are a lot better against Miracles, which is really popular right now. They're good against just removal decks in general. Um... Inferno Titan's better against uh, Tarmogoyf, but Better Skull races Tarmogoyf a lot of the time. It just can't attack through it, though. I know where Sandstone Needles is super awkward, and it's miserable against Wasteland. So, uh, I've got a Crystal Vein. I cut the three Sandstone Needles for a Crystal Vein and two more Basic Mountains. I think I like that change. Maybe I could get on one, but, like, the multiple Sandstone Needle hands are just, like, poop soup. They're really bad. Yeah, 2 p.m. EST at the latest. Make sure you're following the Twitch channel or me on Twitter or Facebook to get notifications of when exactly I go live, but I'll be on by like 2 p.m. EST at the latest. Pangalation Worm does work. We used it in our... We streamed a little bit with Battle of Wits uh, last month. This month? Sure, but we have Sudden Shock and Pyroclasm to kill that card too. I'm trying the go to go to a better skull build. I don't know. Like maybe maybe these could go back to two Inferno Titans. I think I want at least two of each of these though. I've definitely like you know Inferno Titans got a soft spot in my heart. I've killed killed many a players with him. The old twelve plus damage in one swing. I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's hanging out here for our last match of the evening. Got a little over 500 people still hanging out while we battle some Legacy. If it's your first time by the stream, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a professional Magic the Gathering player slash gamer. I play Paper Magic primarily on the FCG Tour. I'm currently ranked first on their circuit. Um, 
going to be playing the Legacy Open in Worcester in a few few weeks. If you're going to be there, feel free to say hello. Uh, on this channel, we play Constructed Magic, Constructed Hex TCGs. In Magic, we play Standard, uh, Modern, and Legacy. And Hex, we play their only Constructed format that they have there. If you're enjoying the content you see here, I'd encourage you to use the follow or sub buttons below the stream to show that support. The, uh, the subs help keep us going, and the followers help as well. So thank you for that. I mean, I think the Sandstone Needles is worth cutting. I don't think I'd ever play more than one of them again. Zero might be wrong, but I don't think I'd ever play more than one again. The double needle hands are bad, and the single needle hands are bad against Wasteland. <laughs> right, Nemzin? I'm excited at the prospect of streaming Paper Magic. It seems like a really good solution. I mean, I prefer playing Paper Magic anyways. So, I don't have to use Magic Online. I get to stream Paper Magic. So, yeah, it seems like win-win, really. I had a bunch of people say they'd prefer to watch Paper Magic, too. So, I'll have hand cams and top cams and microphones and all that jazz. It'll be a good time. Hopefully, we'll see how, see how popular it is. I guess when random shops stream their stuff... It'll be better than, like, me and me and Bamante and some other local people playtesting will be better than watching random shop streams. We won't have a bunch of downtime when we're streaming, streaming playtesting. Waiting to queue, waiting to queue. Hi-ho, the Cherio, waiting to queue. What am I playing in Hex nowadays? Uh, I think my favorite constructed deck right now is Blood Sapphire Control, but I've been screwing around with this Prophecy Burn deck that uh, uses McBombus, and it's really powerful. So it might it might be good. j Bone, fine. <laughs> yes, yes, Q. Q, j Bone, Q. Q into me. Ooh, it's not j Bone. Correct, George. Yep. Uh, turn one Blood Moon. We're on the draw. Turn one Blood Moon's less good on the draw, but uh, it's still fine. Seething Song away from turn one Grizzlebees. Uh, I got 15th at the open. My breakers were not good enough in the last round to draw to win into top eight, so I just drew into top sixteen. That's fine. One card away from being nuts. Could be storm. Could be Delver. Could be Infect. I'm playing deck with Ventios. Uh, check check my link to my hex meta stuff below the stream. It's the Dreaming Fox deck I've been playing. It's uh, basically like VK's Extinctions, uh, Lanopause Sites, Oracle Songs. It's, it's basically like Mono Blood Splash Sapphire. Howdy, Maxter Blaster. I feel kind of ignored in your chat. Oh, did I miss your comment? Sorry. I mean, I resp no, I responded to you just now. Okay, so playing Storm. Probably taking my Blood Moon away. Or if he doesn't care about the Blood Moon, I might take the Gristle Brand or the Through the Breach. I'm just Blood Moon, yep. The real fans are so much better than all the fake fans. Chalice of the Void. Chalice of the Void. Okay, Grixis Stelver.
Now the real question is, do I play? I think I hold the city for now, because if we just get wasteland, that I feel real bad about myself. I came here for Belcher, Big Red will do, right? You always know if we're playing Legacy, it's going to be something obnoxious. Flips to probe, sure. Uh, I think it's a Dido song, actually. It's it's ancient, like most of the music I listen to. Favorite artwork, Birds of Paradise. I play with uh, Eighth Edition Birds. Opponent chose to shuffle. Okay, maybe maybe one of these is resolving. Okay, scale of one to dead. Definitely at the dead side of the scale. Punished for not uh, for not having played out the city last turn, but again, I think playing around wasteland, wasteland is worthwhile there. I'm just gonna like cast a bunch of spells and make guys and tear hand apart here, I assume. Bolt me, make a token. Fork bolt me, sure. Use that token to cabal therapy me. All the lightning bolts. I wonder what he takes here. He has to have a daze, a pierce, or a force, and a blue card. Because, like, he can just take the batter skull. I guess he could take the simian spirit guy, but then we're live to drawing more fast mana. He could take batter skull, but then we can jump through the bridge if he doesn't have a counter spell. Yeah, I think if he doesn't have counter magic spirit guy, it's probably the most conservative take. And if he doesn't take the spirit guide, he just has like a daze or a counter spell. Name Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay. Well, need Lotus Petal or Spirit Guide here. Or he just has another one? Okay, yep. Wait. Are he's delving? Sure. Fast mana, fast mana. Just Yep. So if I don't play around Wasteland, we win that game. And, like, that's the that's a lot of the decisions with this deck. And you've heard me, God, God bless America, it was the next one. It was the next one right there. Ah! All right. Anyways, okay, done being upset. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Probably bringing in Trinosphere. Some of them. I don't like Seething Song against Force of Will decks. you probably heard me say that more than once. And I like Pyroclasm against Young Pyromance. I don't think I like Sudden Shock in this matchup. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So if I don't, if I choose not to play around the wasteland, like, but like if I choose not to play around the wasteland, maybe there was a wasteland in that ponder that he shuffled. Like you just, you just never know. Uh, turn one chalice for one. Turn two blood moon keep.
I'm still going to be streaming. We're just going to be doing paper magic and hex for digital stuff. So like the, there's there's three critical decisions you make with decks like the one that I'm playing now. The first the first is the hands that you keep determine you know the pace that a lot of your games take. The second most important decision you make is your what you're choosing to play around. Like last game I said we lost because we played um, we played it around Wasteland and then got blown out by it and then got uh, Savage when he didn't have it. And then the third thing is the sequencing in which you run your threats into their their disruption. Do you get paid anything for promotion backs? I do not. Uh, full disclosure, they pay me to write, but I get paid to write magic content too, so I don't really think that counts as promotion. They don't pay me specifically to stream Hex. Death right, Shyamalan, sure. Shyamalan ding dong. Do, do, do. Get dazed, get in dazed, get dazed, 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 dazed. All right, that was all. That's great. He just plays Pyromancer and then rails me into the ground with lightning bolts. Oh, right. He gets some colored mana here. We need to run off some mana here. If we just draw land, mana sources for the next three turns, we're in a good spot. Even if he counters a sneak attack, we get to play Batter Skull. Opponent has one more access to non non red mana. Pyromancer, yep. If we don't run off mana sources, we're gonna die very quickly to this. It's unfortunate. Yep. It's brick and die. Yep. That's life sometimes. Yeah, brick and die. Death Rat, Shamalaman. Shamalaman ding dong. Perfect. What's the converted mana cost of our hand here? We got 8, 13, 43, 51. Casual 51 CMC. Not bad. Right, there's a land. He's not attacking with the death right shaman, which probably means he has spell pierce, but we've got two sneak attacks, so that's fine for now. Alright. One more land. One more land, please. Yep. One or two more turns to draw land, possibly, depending on how many lightning bolts are in his hand. Ugh. Here comes the Cabal therapy. The Cabal are here, and they're taking away all of our nice things. That's truly unfortunate. It's very sad. Very sad. Although, if he had Cabal therapy, he might have used it last turn, just because he would have had an elemental and gotten to take away something. So we'll see. Maybe he doesn't have it. No therapy? One time? One time dealer? Don't try with my emotions, opponent. If you have the therapy, play it. Don't die with me! Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Uh, ah! Ah! Alrighty. Let's play this out, because if he's sitting on spell pierce, I would like to use it up now. Gives him more pressure, but eh. Actually, this is bad, right? Because if he pierces this, he gets a fifth power and then kills me in two turns. Okay. I think we're drawing dead at this point. Yeah, this is a spell pierce. We're just dead. Brainstorm. Sure. So he's brainstorming for fours. We're just, we're just dead in two, right? GG's opponent. 
So we needed needed to run some lands off and we drew sneak attack, fatty fatty blood moon, chalice. Wasn't getting there. Wasn't getting there any anytime soon. God, paying twelve dollars to play Magic Online Leagues feels awful. Clasm wasn't out, sure. Yep, sure. So I conceded with an out, but we wouldn't have hit it, so you know. We we board seething song out against forcible decks. You don't want you don't want songs against force discard decks, and the opponent was actually both of those things. Never I never said that. God, I hate I hate people so much. I hate people so much. Let me comment on this thing that I have no idea about. I read this thing, but I didn't really read it. I looked at the title, and I assumed I knew everything about it. Sorry, that was kind of rude. But, you know, it's the truth. The truth's often rude. It's rough. Hey, hey, hey Tom. Good. If we can all just hate each other equally, it's a good time. What's not to love? If this queues in another, I don't know, minute and a half or so, we'll we'll play it. Otherwise, we're gonna call it a night. So let's see. It's funny. The post doesn't even say I'm done with Magic Online forever. It just says I'm taking it out of the regular stream cycle. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life's good. The kids are having their bedtime bottles and they're going to bed. It's still hot here. It's not it's not Dallas hot, which is nice. It's only 80 degrees here at night instead of 90, but still not comfortable. It's fine. It beats the snow. I'll take the heat over the snow any day. <laughs> hey, David. Waiting to queue, waiting to queue. Hi ho, the Cheerio, waiting to queue. Oh, Tom, you like cord? We uh, we played a league with five color cord earlier night. It was a good time. Yeah, that's that's the 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 most funny part. Like, you didn't even just read the article title. You just, you read the Reddit thread title and didn't even actually click on the link to what it said itself. Uh, deck list is on uh, Metery, the Metery page, the link below. Heat doesn't make driving scary. Snow and snow and ice make driving scary. And as someone who travels a lot, I'd much rather have heat than snow. The hero we need. The titles are as far as anyone wants to go, right? Don't look at the comments. The comments are dark and scary. The comments are dark and scary. Alright, we're going to give this till... Let's be generous. Five minutes and thirty seconds. So we'll be we'll know that we're playing another match or calling it a night. Another minute and a half. Um, I beat Tron twice. I was very lucky to do so both times. Um, one of them was Lissette, actually. Um, no, Stony felt fine. Affinity's not well positioned, and I think Cord is well positioned against Affinity even without Stony. Um, 
The negates were awkward. I think I would only play one negate moving forward in the future. Getting them both stuck in your hand feels pretty bad. The pyroclasm should be red. Yep, yeah, it, it's literally just Magic Online being garbage. This is literally just the software being a giant dumpster fire. Got milled out in Hex. Get wrecked, nerd. Wait, did your opponent combo mill you? Because that's one of my buddies. What is his username? Andrew? My buddy's been playing a combo mill deck. <laughs> it's funny, Garrett. Of the tier two deck, which one do I like the most in Hex? Um, that's a good question. I, I really don't know where the tiers separate. Like, Bombus rides a fine line. Bombus is a sweet deck. It's really powerful. Man, I even gave you extra time, Magic Online. I ain't just, just nobody wants to play on you. It ain't even me. Ain't even me just fulfilling it. Ain't nobody wants to play. All right, I'm calling it a night, folks. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon with some more magical cards. We'll finish this league out and then do some other things, probably. Peace, folks.